This is maybe the best title for a video game I've seen in a long time. Welcome back to Hungry On Game. It's Try Stuff Tuesday once again. And today we're trying Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. Which, uh, I mean, that's just a fantastic name. This is the demo of Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. I don't know very much about this game, but I know that it likely appeals to me because it's basically if Bellatra was Blackjack instead. And I like Bellatra, and I do like Blackjack. Let's begin. Choose my starting suit. All right. Hearts heal you. Difficulty easiest. Clubs deal extra damage. Difficulty easy. Spades grant you shields. Difficulty level medium. Diamonds grant you chips. Difficulty level hard. Nothings. Okay. Starting cards have no blackjack effect. Difficulty level hardest. And then there is triple question mark. Difficulty level triple question mark. I did not want to select triple question mark, but here we are. Can I... You know what? New game. I was going to select something easy. I was just curious what happened. I actually mainly want to know if I could click on it. And I can. Um, given that it's our first time playing Dungeon the Degenerate Gambles, I think we should start with one of these two. Let's start with clubs. We'll deal some extra damage. So like I said, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. We'll find out together. We're in Jack's Tavern. This is me. I have a hundred life. After both players have stood, damage is dealt according to the difference between the two scores. Got it. All right. You approach an, the old tavern. It reeks of ale and addiction. Oh, you're going to have to master the strange version of blackjack they play here. Perfect. I'm in. Hello, bartender. The bartender stands on 17. I have literally no cards. Give me one. Oh, savage. I mean, we definitely hit, right? 19 versus 21? I mean, I have to stand, right? Oh, interesting. Okay. So damage is equal to score difference. They have 5 HP. I have 100, which is a lot. I don't know what everything else does yet, but that's okay. I'm not going to read everything. There's like a bunch of tooltips I could potentially read, but like that's lame. So I'm just going to stand. I'm going to take two. All right. So these cards are no longer in my deck. So what's in my draw pile? I have a regular deck of cards. Ace through uh, king in whatever suit this is, clubs. So for, cl for clubs, on a winning blackjack, Clubs are added to damage dealt. Okay, so if I hit blackjack, it's a good time. The only blackjacks I can hit, well, obviously I have to hit the ace, and then I have three more cards I can hit. This is so interesting. Like, obviously, usually when you play blackjack, you don't get to see what cards are left. So you don't even have to count cards. You can just, you can just look at them. All right, I'm going to stop thinking about things and just click buttons. Eight versus my seven. They have to stand on 17. We hit. Uh, all right, so that is 11, right? Oh, 12, sorry. Yeah, that's 12 versus 12. They have to stand on 17. So if I hit a 10, that's bad news, Bears. But I only have three tens. So I think we go for it because we have math. Hang on. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Oh, it tells me. Nine cards in the deck. Nice. Uh, okay, so three of nine. 33-ish percent chance to get got. And they bust, correct? Yes. So that's, bust is zero. I didn't get a blackjack, but they're going to take 18. So I'm going to stand, and they're going to get got. Interesting. You beat me. Pick a card as your reward. They're on the house after every game of cards. Okay, so chips are gained by winning encounters and are spent during events. Okay, I don't know what an event yet is. But again, this is a blackjack roguelite, so we'll be buying something. And what is this while I'm here? Hello? Advantage is gained from unique chips and is spent to play cards from hand or to exploit cards. Okay. So now I get to pick a card. I can pay 21 chips to reveal this. I can skip. 
This is a blank. When I when it's first played, I can choose its value from one to eleven. This is a Kingmaker, which is a ten, like all the face cards in Blackjack. But on play, choose another one of your played cards to turn into a random king. Choose another one of your played cards to turn into a random king. One of four unique cards to create and play. I'm gonna take the blank card. If you're going to meet the manager, could you please be in a good word to me? I'll give you one of these chips to help you. Choose a unique, unique chip to take with you. During encounters, the effect of the chosen chip is always available. So these are relics, basically, from Slay the Spire. Chip on your shoulder, on hit. If you already have a score of at least 12, gain one advantage on hit. You can only be used once per round. Okay, so this gives me advantage, which might be cool. Chipotle pepper, interact, take four damage, gain one advantage. I don't really want to take damage, but it seems like I probably want to generate advantage. Okay, now I get to pick a new floor, basically. Oh, there's even like a little, little uh, preview. A gambler stumbles into you, eyes red from exhaustion. Do you have the time, they mumble. Eight, you reply. On which day? Uh, Tuesday. It's Try Stuff Tuesday. It's the day. Do we want to play the gambler or the drunk? They each have 50 chips and they each have 21 health. Uh, we'll gamble. Do you want to play? I'll put 50 chips in it. I mean, yeah, I have to play it, fam. So, like, yeah, I do. So now this is my deck. I have a blank. I don't know if the blank... I think I choose the value when I play it. And I'm trying to think if the best value is 10 or 11, but we'll figure that out later. All right, let's hit. Bam! Oh, we're so in there. What is this? It's what? Six? On play, choose to reveal one, two, or three random numbers from one to nine. At the total of... Oh, interesting. Okay. Add the total of the revealed numbers to this card's value and gain it many chips. Okay, so they revealed two random numbers and the numbers were four and two, so this is worth six. Uh, I'm you have to hit, obviously. Like, can't have a one. Why would you stand on one card? I guess maybe that's the thing. Okay, they have to stand on 17, which is probably gonna be common. I have 20. That's pretty good. Uh I'm kind of in a rough spot here. But I'm pretty sure. Basic blackjack strategy says stand here. <laughs> Nailed it. So can I click on this? Oh, they're not dead. I scored 12, right? If you already have a score of 12. That doesn't work. Oh, on hit. Hang on a second. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 13? How'd you get 13? Ooh, 18. I have to click this before. I don't exactly know how this works, but we'll figure it out. Uh, they bust, so I obviously stand. <laughs> Goodbye. I better win next time. I owe the manager big after last night. Well, I know I know the game's called Degenerate Gamblers, but maybe you should, you know, should be more responsible. Actually, genuinely, if you're listening to this, you should gamble responsibly. Like, I, I wonder if the game has any sort of, like, anti-gambling message in it. Because obviously it's very heavy on the, the gambling team. <laughs> anyway, what's next? Pie of diamonds. On play, set value to three. On stand, rounds up. Plus one value if this is not bust. That's pretty sick. That's really cool. This is just a three, right? Yeah, this is just a three. I don't think I want a three. <laughs> oh, this is really funny. I guess maybe Squid Game is a uh, like a protected, like a trademarked IP now. <laughs> Calamari game card, good time. All right, on play, take three damage, deal three damage. When you defeat an opponent, you gain a hundred chips. That's a lot of chips. I don't really want to take damage though. I'm going to take the pie of diamonds. That seems fun. 
All right, now we can play the drunk or the bard. I mean, we have to play the bard. Wait, why does the bard have 49 chips? He threw one away. I'm getting memed. On play, choose a card from your discard pile and copy its value in suit. Well, that's cool. 13. So if I click this, what happens? If you already have a score of at least 12. Oh, okay. So if I hit and don't bust, I think this triggers. I'm hitting, I'm pretty sure. You're supposed to click 13 here. I'm pretty confident. Dang it. Wait. Oh, it's a blank. Oh, interesting. So I was going to pick 11. But obviously 11 would bust me. So I guess I should take 8 here. And take my 21. That's uh, math. 16? Pretty unlikely they... Does this not work? What does this do? Don't know why I can't use this. Oh, it did. It worked. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was like not paying attention. Oh, does Blackjack automatically win? Because they had to hit, but they didn't hit. I don't fully understand the game rules. What is this junk? Interesting. Uh, all of our hits are pretty good here. That's good. What is that? Gerard? <laughs> Sorry, Gerald? I guess it's... That's not that character's real name, is it? Is it Gerard? Or is it... It might be Gerald. I haven't actually played The Witcher. I'm sorry. Gerard from Riviera. Popping off. He's gwenting me. On play, choose one of your opponent's cards and burn it. On discard, burn. Card is removed. Well, that's rude. But whatever. We go again. 13 versus 13. Let's hit. Ah, that's cringe, man. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, whenever you bust, you take big damage. What's left in here? 16 is... Oh, they blackjacked me. I'm going to take the difference, right? So... I should... I should hit... And I should not hit again. Yeah. So now I take a little bit less damage. It's a really cool system. All right, what's left? Uh, all my hits are good here. What's, oh, this is their last card. Uh, nine would bust me. Yeah, so I don't want to hit nine and they have no cards left. So I should win. Wait, what? I did math badly? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll... Oh, they have their deck back. That's unfortunate. Alright, we hit the 11. What's this? Well, I have to stand. Tie! Okay, so now we hit, and what happens? My deck gets shuffled back? It's 11? You double here normally. Bruv. Okay, they actually bust, so I'm just gonna stand. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We're starting to figure out the system. <laughs> oh, this game has such a fantastic sense of humor. Okay, so, Jack of Diamonds. Uh, diamonds on winning blackjacks grant you chips. 21 of hearts on a winning blackjack hearts heal you. Uh, it's a blackjack when the score is equal to the bus limit. Makes sense. Or I can pay 21 chips to reveal this card. This seems pretty good, but... The, the dark flower though. Exploit. Spend one advantage to enact this effect. Oh, advantage goes away. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Spend one advantage to enact this effect. Put in play a card that lasts. Oh, create. So it's a temporary card. And then 
they get removed. Okay, so this, you pay an advantage, and then this gives you uh, three halves of that suit. What's a halve? I think we should find out. I don't know how often we're going to be able to get advantage, but... All right, the tavern preys on the natural impulses of the gamblers, feeding their crippling addiction and converting it to profit. Yes, this is true. I do feel like there's some like somewhat heavy anti-gambling undercurrents in the narrative. Uh, I have a chip and they're spent during events. I guess I'll go to an event. We haven't done that yet. The shady character is offering you his services. Each increase or decrease costs 45 chips. Do I want to modify a card? Yeah, I think so. So I can choose a standard non-face card from your deck. Non-face card, interesting. And increase its value by one permanently. Or I can choose a standard non-face card from your deck and decrease its value. I think I'd rather increase than decrease. And let's make another 10, I'm pretty sure is good. And I can keep going. Why can't I see my deck? Let's go again. Make another 10, I guess. Sure, I'll make another 10 and then I'm done. I don't know why you can't see your deck. You probably can, but I don't know what the hotkey is. Uh, I don't really have any chips because I just use them all. So instead of having a drink, I will play the drunk who stands on 13. I did not read if that was different last time. What's this? Oh, I see. It's the same thing. Bust on 21. Yeah, you can see the 21 in the slash here. All right. So we have Dark Flower, the blank card, which you still pick when you flip it, which is actually really sick. This is a very good card. Pie of diamonds. I don't know if it permanently goes up. I think it does, but I don't know. So I have a lot of tens. Two, three, four, five, six. I have six tens and one ace. So let's hit. I would like to make an 11. 10. Oh, come on. 18. Yeah, I'll spend. All right. Three health left. Hit. 10. What is this? so many wild cards in this game this is a rules card on play choose to set your or your opponent's bus limit to 20 or 22 for the rest of this encounter okay so they set their own bus limit to 20 i don't know why they did that now they have to stand on 12 why did they stand on 12 what happened man what happened to you oh, i'm hitting obviously 20 nice 620 tie okay hit 12, 11, double, banger. Wait, what happened? Why did I take damage? Did I take damage? Oh, no, this is, sorry. That was the ace giving itself minus 10 value. Uh, Definitely hit on 12 versus the 12. Dang it. Oh, actually, I was about to say a pretty sure strategy says you should do that there, but my deck is full of nonsense and not actual cards. <laughs> So maybe that's not true. You have to stand on 12 and I have 20. So I'll click stand. Au revoir. No! One left. Hit. The dark flower. I do have an advantage. How do I exploit? I'll do it. What is this, man? <laughs> what? It's a half of suits on play. The value is zero when you stand it rounds up to 1.5. All right. I think I want the one that heals. Hearts heal, right? So I'll take hearts. Wait, they're in play? Okay, then play three halves of that suit. Then discard this. These halves burn on discard. Okay, so this is. I only get to use them now. So my current score is. Well, it's zero, but it will be. They all round up, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to like figure out what's going on. On stand, rounds up. We'll go to plus one if the value does not bust. Okay, so I should just get as close. Well, this is, hang on, that's wild. Isn't that ridiculous? Are these worth? Oh, okay, their value is zero. So they're not worth half the point. Because this game probably wouldn't deal with 
non-integers very well. But these are effectively zero. So I have to get to 18, basically. And then this will give me three points. I mean, they're standing on 18, so I have to just beat 18. So I have to get 16 or higher. Math checks out. Let's go. Sorry, that was so much work to figure out what that card did. But that was really cool. This game is just, like, wild. <laughs> it's so wild. All right. We can take a Queen of Clubs. Take a business card, which is on play. Choose one of your opponent's played cards to swap this card with. We can take a regular 10. And uh, they grant you chips. But I have clubs. I think I want to stick to my suit. Uh, let's play 21 chips and reveal a random card. It's another blank card. That's very, very good. Like, if your deck could be all blanks, I think you would be good to go. This place is host to all sorts of visitors, but it seems like there are more people entering than are actually here. Where are they all? Well, I don't want to drink because I don't have that many chips. So let's, let's bite the janitor. Surely nothing can go wrong. Let me say, by the way, that I love this game. This is such a great theme. I think if you're familiar enough with Blackjack, and most people like understand the basic rules of Blackjack, it's really easy to get into. And there is just a lot of fun to unpack. I will say, like, I'm not just stalling for content. Like, a lot of the cards are pretty complicated, but I think as you get more reps and play more, you start to understand that stuff a bit more quickly. And then it seems like from just this, there's like quite a lot of depth here. So I'm loving this. I'm also curious how long the demo is, but I'm guessing it's like one runs worth however long that is. I don't know how long that is in the demo. Anyway. Oh, goodness. All right. So hall pass. Foresight three. View certain number of cards from draw pile and draw it. Okay. So they can see what's in their deck. That, that would be cool. It's like scrying in magic, right? So what is my deck? It's 16 cards. I have the Dark Flower, but I have no advantage currently. I have the Blank, which is an instant win. I have a bunch of 10s. I have three, five tens actually, and then an Ace. So I basically have five tens and three Aces, and then a bunch of cards that aren't those. And then whatever this is. So we should, obviously we hit on 10 always, but we have a decent amount, decent shot to hit something really good here. Oh, I see. I can keep going and then try and exploit. Okay, well, if I can get if I can get to 12 and get an advantage, that'll be good. What is the janitor playing, by the way? Exploit while you have a card worth 9 or 5 in play, gain 10 chips. Okay. That 3 was a good hit. So now if I hit again, I'll get an advantage and be able to trigger Dark Flower. Dark Flower works in that it will round up and get you to 21 if it wouldn't bust you, which is pretty OP, actually. So that means if I hit a five or higher, because I'll get to 18, I'll win. But I can't hit anything higher than, obviously can't hit a 10. Uh, I can hit, a, what's the highest? I can't, I can hit eight, yeah. 8 plus 3 is 11, right? Yep. So I can't hit a 9 or above. How many 9s are above do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus the two blanks. 5 of 14. Most of these hits are really good, so... I think I'm okay. Well, 5 of 14 is a lot, actually. <laughs> it's like more than a third. I think it's worth it. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's not it. I really got greedy for the dark flower. Oh, I got my advantage though. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you get your advantage from chip on your shoulder whenever you hit above 12. That's how that works. But uh, you get it even if you bust, which is good to know. I didn't know that. Unfortunately, my one exploit card is uh, chilling in the bin, but that's all right. Okay. Lock is cannot be discarded. Does that mean it's not going away after this? Maybe. Oh, hit a 10, that's such a good hit. Blank. Ah, uh, 10 will do. Nice hit. Interesting, okay, so I just realized something and I think this is 
may be pretty obvious to you all watching, but you actually have to cycle through quite a lot of your deck. Because, you know, even if you win a hand, them standing on 17 means that, like, you know, you're only going to deal a few points of damage because you have either 18 or 21, right? So if they don't bust, you actually don't do a lot of damage. 16 versus a 5. <laughs> I'm, like, genuinely trying to visualize blackjack charts in my head, and I think it's probably not worth it for how unhinged this game is. Uh, what are our hits? We have 9 cards. We have 2 misses, right? Oh, the 7 busts as well. 3. Yeah, 23. 3. So, a th once again, about a third of our hits are misses, but... Come on, fam. <sighs> 16 again, same problem. Uh, now we have one out of seven. I'm definitely hitting. Uh, math. 16 plus five. Nailed it. Bust, please. Dang it. Oh, wait a second. But I'm clubs. So it deals a million damage. And now it's actually a free roll, right? We can't. Well. 11, 7. Uh, just to do math. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think most of these combinations end up blackjacking us. 13 plus 7 is 20. Can't bust. Now we can bust if we hit the 7. They're standing on 18. Would I rather take 2? If I miss, I take 18. It's a 1 in 3. I have not had good luck with 1 in 3s. Hitting the ace, though, doesn't get us there. We have to hit the blank. Because then if we, like, if we hit the ace, we have to go again, and that's a 50-50. So it's basically, a, it's not okay. This is not exactly how the odds work, but the ace is basically another reroll to hit a 50-50. And then, so basically I have to hit the 50-50. I can hit the one in three now and get there. I can hit the one in three now and have to reroll for 50-50. I can hit the one in three and bust and take a billion or I can just stand and take two given that hitting this ace yeah I think actually we'll just take two I think we'll take the conservative play here because oh we have six we have the six still I forgot about this well six plus seven is oh 13 sad the blank okay now we have to do a lot of math uh we have an ace and a seven Uh, I think I want a five. Wait, hang on. No. Cause, so, I could get to 11. What do I have a seven and an ace left? So I could, uh, I could get to 14. Yep, I could get to 14. And then try and hit the seven. I think I'm going to go to 10. Because 17 is going to be good enough to tie. And then the blank wins me the round, right? Because I can just pick... Oh, this is the blank. The ace wins me because I can pick 11. So I think I should just take 4 and go to 10. Like, take this 4 and go to 10. And then it's either a tie or I win. And the 50-50... Sorry, it's either likely a tie or I win. And that way I avoid the 50-50. So I think 4 is correct here. And then we... Damn, because it's an ace, right? I guess I could just take the ace. Yeah, I'll just take the ace and go to 18. Gives me an advantage. I unlocked my card. Oh, I took two? That's gross. How on earth did you get to 20 there? Okay, hang on. <laughs> uh, 15 cards. We have a lot of... Five. I mean, it's still one in third again, basically. 18 versus 20... There are so many bad hands here. I mean, I actually can't afford to bust here and too many cards bust me. All of the five plus bust me, which is all these cards. Oh, this is a five forever now. Interesting. I guess there's a four forever now too. All right, I'll just stand and take two. This is like the last time this happened. I really need this person to stop locker dogging me though. 10? Never a 10. Oh, the ace saved me. I hit again. Uh, they stood on 18? Come on, dog. 
Uh, the five busts me, right? Six. Oh, no, the five's eight. Ooh, the five doesn't bust me. The dark flower wins. Either five wins. The six busts me. The six plus busts me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six? Six cards take me out. Actually, I die. Yeah. So I have to just say okay and take two again. Uh, click the buttons. 15. Seven. Four cards. So half of them now. I don't think I can stand against it. 10, can I? Although, I have 17. The likelihood? Can I see their deck? Oh, I can. Oh, okay. That's a huge... Okay, I did not know that. That's a huge difference to how I'm supposed to play here. So they're gonna... Okay, so they're gonna get to 19, right? Because they just hit out. Okay, well then I have to hit. Six, six, eleven. Yeah, these four cards are good. These, these four are bad. The seven, ten, Jack and King are bad. But I have to get to nineteen. So this is only eighteen. So I'd have to hit again. Five, the five is good, the six is good. A three is okay. It means I take one instead of taking four. And then all the other cards kill me instantly. <laughs> so it's a flip to not die. But of the four cards that are good hits, half of them actually win. And the other ones don't do anything unless I hit them both. Which is obviously I'm more likely just a bust. So I think I have to stand again, which is absolutely savage. But I think that's the correct play. Okay, please let the madness be over. That's pretty good. Uh, none of these hits kill me. Yeah, so you have a nine. What's left? You could hit another nine and have to stand. You could hit the ten and have to stand. So your max... Looks like your max hand is 19. You actually can't get worse than 19. It looks like. Because all you have are fives and tens, basically. So I have to beat 19. This is 13 plus 3. Two cards bust me. Everything else is good. This is my best shot. I think I have to take the 3 and 5. Yeah. Come on! I'm dead! <laughs> Disappointing. I'm not dead. Why didn't I die? Why did I stand on 9? What happened? I'll hit the 5 and... Wait, did, did they hit the five and bust? <laughs> I guess I didn't think about that, but that's so rare. They only had one nine to hit, right? Two nines? Okay. I clearly didn't do math properly there. That's okay. Uh, I'm just going to stand. Oof. What's left? Uh, I guess the king is good. Never lucky. Oh, the seven bust me, so stand. Bleeding out here. King! Finally. Alright, we did it. Holy smokes. I can't tell if I did, like, good math or terrible math. But I had a lot of fun trying to figure that out. That was really complicated. Oh, this game is so sick. Okay, so we have a... <laughs> Sorry, we have a price co membership card. Uh, a micro SD card or a jackpot. Uh, let's read these. I'm not going to flip the card. I'm just going to look at the... I mean, I'm going to look at these. God, this game is so funny. Uh, this is a 10. On stand, make three random jacks, put them in your draw pile. That's pretty good. On play, take the top card from your draw pile and put it in your hand. 
Then lock this card. Unlocks when the drawn card is played. Why is that good? On play, take the top card from your draw pile and put it into your hand. Unlocks when the drawn card is played. So the SD card stays in play with zero value the whole time. This just draws you a card, right? Oh, hang on. Wait a second, that seems really good. I'll read the membership card though. On play, set value to 12, then create a 12 of a random suit, put it into your hands. And if you exploit, you can give it minus three value, so it would be a nine. That's pretty powerful, but I'm gonna go with the SD card, because I wanna see what drawing cards is like, because it sounds kind of powerful. Oh, we have two things left. No, I have this, I have three things left. I think I'm gonna die, but maybe not. Uh, the Squire or the Poker Player? Let's dodge the Poker Player. We'll play the Squire. <laughs> two twos, two fours, two sixes, two eights, two tens. Okay, so only evens. A Joker. On play, take two damage, gain five shield. Okay. And then I'll, I'll stop by hitting. I'll hit again. Uh, I'll make an 11. YOLO. Alright, so you have shield. But they took two. Standing on 17. I'm gonna hit on 14. 18 versus six. Most of my hits are bad. I could hit flower, I could hit pie, I could hit blank, I could hit the ace or the two, everything else busts me. Which is like four of my 15 cards save me. Sorry, five of my 15 cards save me. But that doesn't seem like a good time to hit. So what's potentially gonna happen here? If they hit a 10, they have to hit. If they hit an eight. Eight and six bust them. Yeah, most of this looks good for me. Oh, that was one of the wor That was one of the run outs that killed me, unfortunately. Killed me exactly, actually. My goodness. Grieve, quick hit a few your deck. <laughs> All right, well, that's, this was a fun deck. I never got to use the SD card. This game is absolutely delightful. I think a lot of my blackjack math is gonna get like massively con, or just massively broken because the game is blackjack, but not blackjack. But my, my, this game is fun. So this was Try Stuff Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna stop here because I think uh, it's a good place to spot. I think we got a good sense of what's going on in the game and what the demo is like. If you'd like to see me play this again, let me know. Uh, I certainly will probably play this again because this seems so fun. But I don't know how different the demo is to the full game. I think maybe the plan is to try and get through the demo and then try the full game. But if the full game is better and you'd rather see that, let me know. I'm happy to take feedback on the channel. In either case, this is a, a game I thought I would like but ended up loving. This is just wonderful. It's so fun. And it's, it's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to think about just in the few things I saw. And we were, for the most part, playing somewhat normal blackjack. All right. Let me know what you thought. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you got yourself to this point. And as always, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.